Hello folks, so today we're going to be learning how to use QCogo. Well, this is an online tool for learning surveys to do their computations while they're there in the office after having spent some time in the field. So as we can see here, uh, it all says it like on the software which was developed by Mark Mason. It says it right here. So uh, QCogo doesn't need to be installed. It's simply web-based because he programmed it using basic um, it was using um, HTML and JavaScript okay so in today's tutorial we're gonna be learning how to do a traverse so of course you've collected some data in the field and now you want to make your computations while it's here in your office or while it's here at your home so let's get started well, as you know all traverses start from uh, from a known point so right here we're gonna be entering our known point so in this case I'm gonna be saying uh, this is beacon A and our coordinates in this case we had to use 1000 and uh, 1000 like this we're not using any Z coordinates so yeah description I'm gonna use, say beacon right and then I store this point so after storing the point it basically comes here into this into this box where it keeps records of all the points that have been stored okay so now we're going to go here on Travis so uh, obviously we're going to be starting from an, our known point that is the beacon A so our Travis it depends on what kind of Travis you would, would have done in the field it's either use azimuth or use angle so in our case we used azimuth well for more detail about these features you can simply click on these information icons for example if I click here gives you a description of what you're supposed to do and even an example so yeah for the purpose of this tutorial I'm not going to be reading all that for you but I'm just going to be outlining the steps so in this case we started from beacon A now we uh, we had an angle of uh, 1 degree 15 minutes and 16 seconds so we're going to enter it into the system like this 15 16 so as you can see, 1 degree, 15 minutes, 16 seconds. And our distance was 32,607. Like that. So we're not going to solve anything, right? We're just going to... Okay. These two features, it's either you store it like... Uh, okay. Here it says solve traverse and store point increment stations. Let's say we're moving from station A to station B. Like going in a forward direction. And this one solve travels and store points having a side shoot whereby we have uh, mm -hmm. I'm sure you all know what a side shoot is so in this case we have this one just going forward where we're incrementing stations so enter a point name oops I didn't enter a point name so I'm supposed to enter a point name in this case our point is s2 yep so the good thing about this uh this two is it even uh, draws features for you and this small box right here see this is our beacon a and this is our this is our s2 so for now i'm just going to compute the values into the into this into the system and then we continue from there so as you can see here it, it already wants me to it wants me to input my values starting from s2 because since i selected this feature to show that we're going forward so let me enter the next uh, the next phase of the Travis. We had uh, 54 seconds and 36. And then we had 33 through 7. And then this point was, this was P1. Yep. There is our P1. So from P1, we had uh, an angle of 160. 38. 48 and our distance was 52.962 yeah that was to point uh, p2 yeah okay from p2 we were moving on to p3 where we had 232.34.04 with a distance of 33. 9454 and then 
this is plus point p3 okay so now from point p3 we wanted to close our travels so in this case it was a closed loop travis i'm sure you all know what a closed loop travis is yeah so basically we wanted to go back to the, our initial point which is which is which was beacon a so but we had our own uh, distance and direction so i'm going to enter the distance direction that we got okay we got 32.3705 and with a distance of 39.935 there so this was our um, beacon a just tame it as close yeah beacon a close and that's that okay so you can see here we started off our traverse here and we closed it here so as you can already see there's some bit of some error there already so now what you're going to do is we want to adjust this travis so in order to adjust this travis i'm going to click here adjust travis so i'm going to start we started our travis on beacon a right and we closed on beacon closed on, the, on this one right okay but initially we were supposed to close what one on beacon a so I'm gonna this is the closing station so I'm gonna enter the start and closing okay now we want to adjust the Travis um we choose this we choose s1 sorry to s2 we enter all the points which we traversed through p1 p2 p3 and then no then beacon A right like this and then we click so Travis misclosure or relative precision does not fall within selected tolerances now we're to see that our Travis didn't did not fall in the tolerance so for this for the purpose of this tutorial we're going to adjust the, the, the settings so that we just see how it works but obviously in the field you're supposed to re you're supposed to go back to your survey and start again so you're gonna click on settings and then here Travis tolerance is precision you're just gonna say no limit no limit uh, no limit uh, yeah so then we go back here and then we just click on solve okay so points values are adjusted are not adjusted in TW. so this is our final results comparison angle balance cannot be performed two start and close points are required for angle balance travels will be adjusted by campus rule only well so basically this system like it gives you like all the details that you need to know but in this case so this is this is only like uh the difference and uh in the northing and the eastings as you can see this is the table that, uh, that the system produces for you and everything that you need so now we need to adjust our our travis so that it gives us it gives us the, the it gives us the yeah the actual coordinates of the points that we're traversing through as you can see these ones are just arbitrary coordinates these ones they're just arbitrary coordinates so because we just solved so it gives us arbitrary coordinates so now what we want to do we want to adjust the travis so that it uh it gives us the accurate points so we're just gonna click here on adjust it is strongly recommended that you review the results of your adjustment using the solve so pattern before proceeding five points will be edited it's already telling me that five points will be edited okay yeah so just gonna say okay okay so it's not giving us all the details we need to know so we're just gonna go back to settings and then we're gonna go um where am I supposed to go? Yeah, display units. Uh, yes, I need to know the units. Information. Yeah, here. We need to, to know all the detailed information about everything that we just did. So we just click detailed. And then we go back here. And we click on solve. Oops. We already, we already adjusted the, the values. That's why it gave us. There's no change here. So our final results, 
the main trap was final adjusted values are these ones so you can see these are our new coordinate values for the travis you see we closed the like the travis was supposed to close it to 1000 1000 so that's what the system did for us and now we have our adjusted coordinates anyway guys thank you for watching if you need to know the link to where you can find this too just check the link in the description and make sure to subscribe and like this video so that it helps the people who make these to create more anyway stay blessed thank you